Hello guys. Today I am going to tell you a story about the tactful fox. Once there lived an elephant in a thick forest. He was very old and weak. One night he breathed his last. Next morning a wise fox happened to pass that way. He saw the dead elephant and felt very pleased. He was sure that he would enjoy the elephant's flesh for a number of days but when he tried to eat it he could not the thin skin the thick skin of the elephant was too hard for the fox to bite so he felt very helpless very clever an animal is the fox is he didn't feel disappointed he began to think hard as to what to do and how to attack the hole in the dead elephant's body Just then, a lion happened to come there. So the fox thought of sending the king of the forest away, but in the most polite manner. The fox said to the lion, "Your Majesty, here is a dead elephant. I am looking after it for you, Your Honor. Kindly eat it so that I may feed on your leftover food." The lion at once said, "Shut up, you rascal! Don't you know that lions eat their own prey only?" Pardon me, sir. I am a humble servant of yours. It's my duty to make an offer to my master," said the fox. The lion was very pleased to hear the flattering words, and the fox and of the fox and went away smiling from that. Thus, the tactful fox saved his food from the lion. After some time, a tiger happened to come there. The fox said to himself, "I must send him away to a tree." At once he hit upon a plan and acted upon it. Saluting the tiger, the fox said, "Sir, I can't dare say, but your life is in danger here. So I shall request you to go away as soon as possible." "What danger?" asked the tiger angrily. "The lion has killed this elephant, ordering me to stand guard here. He has gone for a bath in the river. So I have made this request to you," replied the fox. Hearing the words of the fox, The tiger was frightened. He asked the fox not to tell the lion about his visit and left the place to save his life. Hardly had the tiger left the place when a leopard appeared on the scene. Seeing his sharp teeth, the fox made up his mind to seek help from him without letting him eat anything. So the fox said to the leopard, "Hello, sir. Where have you been all these days? I am seeing you after a good many days." If I am not wrong, you seem to be very hungry. Yes, you are right, Mr. Fox. I am very hungry indeed. I have not been able to kill any prey for two days. Who killed this elephant? By the way, asked the leopard eagerly. The lion killed it, and he has gone for a bath in the driver, river, ordering me to stand guard. Even then, I don't mind. If you eat some of its flesh to appease your hunger, come on, enjoy it and be off before the lion comes," said the hawk fox. Hungry as the leopard was, he began to bite the hard skin of the elephant. The fox was looking at him very carefully. As soon as the leopard made a hole in the elephant's skin, the fox shouted, "Run away, sir! The lion has come!" Hearing this, the leopard took his heels without even looking back, and the fox felt very happy to be successful in his plan. Now the clever fox started eating the flesh of the dead elephant without any worry. But just then another fox happened to come there. Seeing the other fox, the first fox felt worried. He thought for a while and decided to fight the newcomer back to back so that he might enjoy the elephant's entire flesh all by himself. So as soon as the second fox advanced towards the elephant to enjoy its flesh, the first one fell upon him. The fierce scuffle took place between the two, and the first fox killed the second one to remove the last hurdle that had appeared suddenly. The tactful fox kept enjoying the flesh of the dead elephant for a number of days all by himself. How happy he was to have tricked all the fierce animals one by one, and he was to have done away with the last opponent who was one of his own kind. The wise fox put the lion off to his humble ways and scared the tiger through a trick. As for the leopard, he beat him through a bait while the fox was killed by him. 
This story shows one more universal fact that two of us talk and seldom agree. They are jealous of each other, so they oppose each other. Thus, killing of the second fox by the first one was justified all means. That's all from me now. See you in my next video. Bye guys.